So when you get your new DSLR, it is going to come out of the box like this with no lens attached and just a cover on the camera body. Now you probably got a kit if you're watching this video. That means your kit came with a lens and a camera body. So what you're going to do to attach this lens is take the camera and take this cover off right here. Nothing special, just turn it counterclockwise and it'll come right off. And then on the lens, you're also going to want to take that cover off, turn it counterclockwise again, and that will come off as well. So what you're going to do is determine whether you have an EFS or just an EF lens. If it says EFS on it, it's EFS. But if you don't know still, if you have a white square on the side as shown here, that is an EFS lens. Now you can mount this to a Canon T4i, a Canon T3i, or a 60D, a 7D, whatever. Just don't mount it to a full frame camera because that could damage the mirrors. If you have an EF lens, that is compatible with all Canon cameras and it will have this red circle here. Now, when you're mounting it onto the camera, you'll see that on the camera body, there is a red circle and a white square. Now, you're going to want to line that up with the respective symbol on your lens and then turn clockwise. Now your lens will be attached. Now, when you go to detach your lens, whether you want to swap out a new lens or you just need it to be more compact when you're transporting your camera, what you're going to do is press this button you see next to the lens. This will sort of release the lens and then you can turn the lens counterclockwise until it's freed. You'll hit sort of a stop and then you can pull the lens away from the camera and put the covers back on. And so that is how to swap lenses. Just some warnings for you. Make sure you don't leave your camera open for too long. You wouldn't want too much extra dust getting in there. Um, some dust is going to get in there anyway. That's why when you turn your camera off, you'll see this sensor cleaning message. And that's about it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon with another how-to video.